Hi guys, uh, today's date is October 25th, 2024. It's been a while since I uh, did any video uh, on, on uh, the topic of uh, Fenben. Yesterday, I actually went to the hospital, or just the blood lab, uh, and had my blood, uh, blood test uh, done. And I have a news, uh, I think that might be interest, of interest uh, to those of you who might be considering a fan band, uh, taking fan band, that is. Uh, uh, this, this, the, um, uh, this video might be a little bit long, uh, but for, this is really for those of you who are truly, truly interested in uh, what's going on uh, with fan band and how it might be affecting people. Actually, uh, I'm the only guinea pig here, so how it affected me. So uh, I will talk to you about my blood test uh, results and what I think may have happened. Uh, so for those of you who may have started uh, this uh, journey with me uh, from January of 2020, uh, I think you would actually uh, find uh, some of the numbers to be uh, somewhat illuminating. Uh, for me, it was uh, a major revelation, but but then again, I have to start with my uh, disclaimer that I'm not, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a medical professional. I don't have any medical background, actually. I really, if there were other people who have a medical background and who talked more about uh, Fenban and how it affects uh, your body, I would probably not have to say anything and I am actually probably not really qualified uh, to say too much, so uh, take it for uh, whatever it means to you. Uh, take it with a lot of grains of salt. Grains of salt, salt. Uh, anyway, uh, so my journey uh, on taking Fenben uh, started on January 9th, 2020, and today uh, again is October 25th, 2024. So it's about four years in between. One, two, three, four, right? It's about four years uh, of a journey that I have taken. Let me do this again. 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I should start off with the, the PSA number. Uh, it's a, a short for prostate specific antigen. And I am 56 years old. Uh, yes, as of this year, I'm 56 years old. Uh, obviously an Asian male, 5'6 uh, in height, and 170 pounds uh, in weight. And uh, I have three numbers. Uh, for, uh, one from uh, February of 2020, uh, another one from March of 2020, and then uh, one from yesterday, uh, October 24th, 2024, and uh, I will be going through AST number, ALT numbers, and PSA numbers, as well as some of the other numbers, and uh, I, I think most of you who might be uh, listening in uh, this far probably knows uh, uh, that I've done a series of uh, tests on myself uh, taking Fenben. Uh, I've taken uh, Fenben for about 28 uh, times. Uh, three days on, three uh, four days off, uh, meaning I took it for three days every week. Uh, and along the way, I have taken my blood samples. And uh, let me just tell you what I found first and then go into details of what I actually uh, think is happening or has happened. Uh, my AST level from yesterday's day's test uh, came out 13, uh, which is normal. A LT level uh, came out 14, which is normal. My PSA number came out 0 0.55, which is also normal. And again, uh, the PSA is uh, the prostate-specific antigen, and I'm going to be talking about that number quite a bit more. Anyway, uh, back in uh, March, uh, March 11th, uh, actually, March 2nd, uh, 2020, my AEST number was 29, which was normal. And 
then ALT number was 81, which was high. And my PSA number was 0.7, which was also normal, but higher than the 0.55 uh, number that I have gotten uh, from yesterday's test results. I will uh, have obviously a table uh, that gives a comparison of these different numbers. So you can actually see it uh, as I'm speaking to you. Uh, at this time, I'm just recording my uh, video portion. And then uh, back in uh, February 1, 2020, I had my AST, AST number, which was 52, uh, which was high. ALT number, which was 75, also high. And PSA was at the same number, which was 0 0.7. And that's normal. Um, I believe the uh, PSA is... Uh, the unit is nanogram per milliliter and anything below 4.0 nanogram per milliliter uh, would be good uh, meaning normal now uh, why is it that i'm looking at the psa number uh, because that's the only number i can actually get uh, from blood test at least the one that i have taken uh, which would give any indication as to cancer or the possibility of cancer uh, because uh, supposedly uh, PSA gives you your chance of uh, having a prostate cancer. Uh, if uh, uh, a PSA level of uh, over uh, 10 nanogram uh, per milliliter supposedly is linked uh, to 50% chance of a uh, prostate cancer. So the lower the better, uh, apparently. And I am nowhere near uh, the uh, 10 nanogram uh, per milliliter, uh, so I was never really at risk for prostate cancer. However, uh, I did take the FENBAN, right, uh, back in 2020. Yeah, and uh, fast forward to today or yesterday, uh, of recent, I have been wondering if I actually have some prostate problems uh, uh, because I uh, was having uh, a sudden urge uh, to pee. Uh, I was getting up more uh, often in the night uh, to pee. Uh, and then I had a bit of a problem keeping uh, up with an erection. So I, I was getting, I, I was having some problems. Uh, so I said, maybe, maybe I have some pro prostate problem and possibly a uh, prostate cancer because as I have indicated before, uh, my mother passed away because of lung cancer, a small cell lung cancer. And it's been my fear uh, that I would also contract uh, cancer and somehow suffer from it. Although I don't think I have cancer, but I am always in the back of my mind wondering or, or worried about something like that and uh, PSA as I've said before uh, was the only way uh, for me to get any kind of number on uh, pet, a possibility of a cancer with a, with the uh, blood test I suppose you could have done more testing but I didn't feel the need for anything else but I wanted to come back to you about the PSA number, uh, which has gotten better. Uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and then 0 0.55 now. Uh, I don't know if the reduction in 0 0.15 uh, is a significant number or not. But the good news is it's gotten lower. It's smaller. So there's a lesser chance than uh, whatever problems that I'm having now with my prostate is not related to the, uh, what is it, uh, some antigen, right? Uh, Prostate-specific antigen. So I don't have that, that problem. And another thing I wanted to point out is my AS, AST and ALT numbers. Uh, those uh, have gone down a, a lot. Uh, when I was actually taking FENBEN, uh, I had high AST and ALT numbers. Uh, in February of 2020, my AST had been at 52 and ALT at 50, uh, 75 uh, units per liter. But now, uh, 
from yesterday's test results, I have 13 and 14, which are really low. Uh, so as to the AST and ALT, I focus on that uh, because it's an indication of whether I am doing well, uh, whether my liver is doing well. Uh, and uh, when I was uh, testing my uh, fan band on myself, my biggest concern uh, at the time uh, was my liver, uh, that uh, there had been, uh, I guess, uh, medical test results indicating uh, that uh, taking fan band uh, can result in uh, failure of liver or damages to a liver. So I was very worried uh, because as a person testing out uh, fan band, uh, as a healthy person uh, testing out fan band, I was concerned that maybe I might be damaging my liver. And sure enough, uh, my uh, AST and ALT numbers came back high. On hindsight, I really should have taken my uh, blood test uh, before I started on FENBAN, but I didn't do that. I started uh, taking FENBAN on January 9th, 2020. That's my uh, video number one. And then uh, my first test of AST and ALT numbers had been on February 1, February 1st. So it was about three weeks already, about nine times that I had taken then, then, uh, when I had my first uh, test result. Uh, so I wasn't sure if I started out with a bad liver, and then uh, that's what showed on February 1st, 2020 test, or uh, whether it was uh, then, then uh, damaging my liver. Uh, I did take, take some uh, supplement uh, to help my liver along the way, and they may help. Helped. Anyway, uh, my uh, March uh, test result, which was March 2nd, 2020, uh, does indicate that AST have uh, reduced uh, and went into a normal range, but ALT uh, uh, went up just uh, slightly uh, to 81. Uh, so ALT remained high, except now that it's been almost four years, and my AST and ALT numbers are in the uh, normal range. Uh, so, uh, was it fan band that was hurting my liver? I think it was very possible, except I don't know how it was prior to my starting to take the fan band. But now that I have been off fan band for about four years, yeah, to be more exact, uh, three years and seven months, uh, my liver is fine. I'm, I'm, I'm doing very well. Uh, so. It is very possible that Fan Ben uh, may have uh, damaged my liver or weakened it a little bit, uh, but it didn't have any long-term uh, effect if it did have any, any effect. Uh, so that's the good news. Uh, again, uh, the bad news would be Fan Ben could have affected my uh, liver functions. Again, the good news is it doesn't have uh, lasting damages uh, on your liver. Uh, PSA number well, came down a bit, and that's good. Uh, at least it didn't hurt, and I actually I'm very feel uh, feel very happy to find uh, the PS number the PSA number to be lower. Uh, that's because um, prior to my uh, taking the blood test, uh, I was concerned, uh, and I was actually thinking about going back on FanBan uh, just as a prophylactic uh, measure to prevent any uh, possible um, cancer from onsetting. But now that I've taken the blood samples and test results, uh, or result came back uh, fine. Uh, maybe I don't have to take any fan then, or I, yeah, I don't feel the need for it. Uh, but those are the numbers I have. Uh, and um, I have also uh, tested the cholesterol uh, Actually, uh, let me back up a little bit. Uh, so all the numbers came back fine, uh, normal for me, except for the following numbers, uh, which are cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, triglycerides, LDL cholesterol, uh, non-HDL cholesterol, uh, glucose, hemoglobin A1C. So uh, these are the numbers uh, that came back uh, high, uh, with the exception of HDL cholesterol. Uh, so it does look like I have diabetes or I'm, I am diabetic, uh, maybe. I, I'm not taking any drugs for it. Uh, anyway, uh, I am going to share these numbers with you on a uh, separate screen or uh, 
find a way to put it on my screen so you can also uh, look at it with me. And uh, in the meantime, uh, from uh, February of 2020 to October of 2024, I've uh, not taken any supplements uh, with the exception of a couple of these uh, uh, Arginin. Uh, I'm not trying to sell it to you. <laughs> it's on Amazon. Uh, and then I also am uh, taking uh, true oniagen, uh, NMN. Uh, it helps with my... Uh, brain functions, I think, uh, supposed to make me uh, live longer. Uh, anyway, uh, so those are the only uh, supplements that I'm uh, really taking. Uh, so uh, other than uh, aging and getting old, uh, I don't know what other factors may have uh, affected my uh, health. Uh, I stay in fairly good shape. Uh, let me see if it's going to show up. Oh, yeah, so I don't have a lot of belly fat. I, Got some, but I hide them uh, fairly well. Uh, I try to uh, run uh, whenever I can. Uh, this morning I did. Uh, this week I ran for four days out of five, which is good. And then on weekends I do some hiking. So I try to keep active and uh, stay uh, young uh, if I can. Anyway, those are the numbers that I have, and uh, I am very happy and uh, excited uh, to state that the PSA number came down. Uh, I don't know if that was by or affected by uh, Fanban, my taking Fanban. And I actually do not know if the, the difference of 0 0.15 uh, nanogram per milliliter uh, is of any significant uh, change. But I, I thought it was uh, enough. Uh, it was uh, important enough uh, from my perspective uh, to come back and uh, report to you. Uh, that's what I found uh, from my uh, blood uh, test. And the AS, AST and ALT numbers are uh, you know, coming down to a normal range. <laughs> that's really exciting. Uh, so my liver is doing well. Uh, cholesterols uh, have gone up a bit. Uh, Glucose level uh, went up a lot, uh, so maybe I need to look into that. Uh, but I am told uh, diabetics, 75% uh, is hereditary and 25% died. If that's true, there's not a whole lot I can do uh, about it. Uh, well, uh, that's about 17 minutes so far into the recording of the video. Uh, hopefully this, does, this one uh, does not get shut down uh, or shut down uh, by uh, YouTube. I don't think I've said anything that would be against their guidelines. Uh, but it's sometimes very hard to get uh, this type of information out there. Uh, so uh, I want to say goodbye to you with, a, with my disclaimer again. Uh, I'm not a doctor. I don't have any medical background and I'm not making any recommendations to you. I'm only reporting what I found uh, from what I have done and from my blood, uh, blood testing. So that's what I found. Maybe uh, some of you or at least one of you uh, would find my information to be useful and that's good enough. Right? If, even if just one of you uh, thought that uh, this uh, gave you some food for thought, uh, that, that's good enough. Uh, I wish you well uh, if you were listening to me this far. Uh, you're looking for some answers and I'm, I'm hoping I provided or I'm helping uh, you in uh, going in the right direction uh, in finding answer. Stay healthy or uh, get better. Hope you do well and uh, talk to you next time.